what's up everybody, I'm Katie. And I'm Jesse. Welcome to our course on beginning iOS animations. In this course, you're going to become a master of view animations. We've got a lot of fantastic animations in store for you. Let's get started. First, let us offer you some motivation. Why should you develop cool animations for your iOS apps? Take a look at all of the apps that Apple ships with every iOS device, or even just take a tour of the OS itself. You'll see view animations everywhere. The design aesthetic of iOS 10 is very flat and light, featuring clean typography and a lot of white space. This is meant to bring focus to the content of your apps, but it's easy for a design to lose personality under these guidelines. Adding delightful animation is a brilliant way to wow your users and make your app look and feel unique. Practically speaking, animation can grab a user's attention and allow them to focus on what's most important. You can help your users intuitively understand how to navigate your app by building animations that make your content feel like it exists in a logical, realistic space. Animation is also a ton of fun and just looks cool. In this course, you'll create animations for three different projects. The first will be this packing list app. In parts two and three, you'll learn how to add animations to a project that uses auto layout. You'll animate views by animating their constraints, so your animations can look perfect on iOS devices of any size or orientation. In part four, you'll learn to control spring effects and apply them to your animations. And in part five, we'll show you the built-in view transitions that Apple offers. You get these animations for free with minimal code required from you, so it's a good idea to learn how to use them. In parts six through eight, you'll work in this flight info project. Parts six and seven will cover directly animating view properties. You'll learn when it may be useful to go over auto layout's head to animate the frame or center point of a view and how to do so safely. We'll also show you the power of the transform property, allowing you to rotate, scale, and translate your views. You'll finish up this project in part seven with keyframe animations. Keyframes allow you to build multi-part animations and coordinate the animation of different properties to create complex effects. To finish the course off with a bang, parts nine and 10 will show you how to add custom view controller transitions to this beginner cook app. By the end, you'll have a polished transition that's not only gorgeous, but also a clear illustration of the app's navigational structure. Before you begin your animation voyage, we have a few prerequisite recommendations. You're welcome to continue on regardless, but it would be best to have some familiarity with iOS development. If you're new to iOS, our beginning iOS courses can get you up to speed. It's also a good idea to be comfortable with Swift. The beginning Swift and intermediate Swift courses are always there if you need a little help. Finally, you need a working understanding of auto layout. If you want a refresher or haven't worked with auto layout before, we highly recommend taking a look at our courses on the subject. Beginning auto layout should be enough to prepare you for this course, but for you overachievers, mastering auto layout is also available. That's it for this introductory video. Join us in the next video where you'll begin animating auto layout constraints. Wait, hold on, where's Marin? Marin the Realm Guru? Well, yes, but he also literally wrote the book on iOS animations. In fact, this course is based on it, the wildly popular iOS animations by Tutorial. This course is an update to his fantastic course of the same name. Thanks, Marin. We hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.